Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to go through the basic WordPress settings. So go ahead and log into your WordPress dashboard. Now I already showed you the URL earlier when you installed WordPress, but just in case, this is what it looks like. It's a your domain forward slash WP hyphen admin. So that's the URL you go to to log in to your WordPress dashboard. All right, so go to the menu here over on the left hand side and select settings. These are the general settings and this is where you're going to enter the title and the subtitle that you created earlier. Now we set up HTTPS, so let's change the URL from HTTP to HTTPS and in here as well. And here's the email address. This is the one that you entered on the WordPress installation. And since then you have created that email address in a previous lesson. We leave this unticked. And for new user default role, it will be subscriber. Now, unless you're running some kind of membership site where you're gonna have people sign up to a membership, this is really not applicable anyway, but we just leave it as is. Your site language. Now by default, for me, it's showing English US, but in this case, because this is a blog for the UK, UK audience, I'm going to select UK, English UK. Select your time zone. Now this works on UTC and uh, right now, UTC time is 10.15 in the morning. Currently here it is 11.19, which is a little strange, but I'm going to go UTC plus one. And for the date format, I am going to set this to the date format that people in the UK would expect to see, which is this one here, 28th of the 4th, 2019. That's the date right now. And for the time format, you can check out the different formats here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Week starts on Monday. That's up to you, but I like my week to start on Monday. So I'm going to leave it like that. Save changes. All right. Now the next thing under settings is writing. Default post category. Yes, leave it as uncategorized. We won't have any posts in uncategorized, but in WordPress, there always has to be a default post category, so we'll leave it like that. Default post format, standard, yes. Post via email, leave everything as it is here, that's fine. And right here you should have Pingomatic. Basically with WordPress, every time you publish a post or a page, so any content like that, it's automatically pinged to the search engines and that helps your pages get indexed faster in Google and the other search engines. Okay, so that's fine. Nothing changed there. Under reading, blog pages show at most 10 posts. I think that's perfectly okay. People are scrolling down. I think 10 posts is enough before they go to the next page. Same with syndication feeds. For each article show full text. Normally, yes, I would have that ticked. And search engine visibility. You don't want to tick this, you want to leave it unticked. Nothing changed there, on to discussion. Okay, now this is where we decide if we allow people to post comments automatically or if we need to approve them first, all that kind of thing. All right, so we want these ticked, all three. Other comment settings. Comment author must fill out name and email, yes. Users must be registered and logged in, no. Automatically close comments on articles older than X amount of days. I wouldn't do that because comments are content. It's new content and Google and the other search engines like new content. So we don't want to close comments even on older posts. Show comments, cookies, opt-in, checkbox. You don't need to have that for comments, so you can untick that. Enable threaded comments five levels deep. That's about right, leave that. Break comments into pages. Yep, I would say that's a good idea to do that. 
Comments should be displayed with the older comments at the top of each page. I like it the other way around, showing the newer comments at the top. Email me whenever anyone posts a comment. A comment is held for moderation. Now you can do that if you wish, or instead you can just log in and check your comments. So we can see that under comments here. Obviously there are none here because this is just a brand new blog that I'm setting up. But if you don't want to receive the emails, untick these here. Now, before a comment appears, must be manually approved. Yes, you do not want comments to be posted automatically. At least I don't, because you don't know what you're going to get. You could get spam comments. You could get troll comments, nasty comments. You've no idea. So really, you should check and approve comments first before they go live. So we're going to leave that ticked. We don't need this ticked. Comment author must have a previously approved comment. Comment moderation. Hold comment in the queue if it contains two or more links. Now I would normally say one, but in this case, because we're going to manually approve anyway, it's not such a big deal. But when you think about it, you don't really want comments from people who are going to be posting lots of links because most of the time, they're trying to do that for self-promotion purposes, but there can be times where comments contain educational links. That's different and you can approve those comments. You can also add a list of words in here that would cause a comment to be held in the moderation queue, but because you are going to be manually approving them anyway, they're always going to be in the moderation queue. They're not going to be posted automatically and comment blacklist. Now this can be handy because if you have words in here, blacklisted words and any comments contain those words, those comments will go straight to the bin, which means that you won't even need to look at them and manually approve them or manually bin them. But it's a difficult thing because you may not know which words that you want to enter in here. Now you can put obscenities and that kind of thing in the blacklist if you want to, but that does not mean to say that spam comments or weird comments are going to go automatically to the bin because they may not have any of those words in them. But anyhow, I'm sure you understand exactly what this means. So I'll leave that to you. Avatars, display avatar, yes. Now, rating for your blog, suitable for all audiences or not? If it's not, you need to tick one of these. Default avatar, all right, mystery person. That's normally what I leave it as. So that's if somebody comments and they don't have an avatar, it will show up as mystery person. All right, once you've done all that, save changes. And under media, thumbnail size, 150 by 150, that's pretty standard. So I would normally leave it like that. And you can crop thumbnails to the exact dimension. Normally thumbnails are proportional. Now I usually untick this because I would rather resize or have a thumbnail resized than have part of it cropped off. And this is standard as well. So we can leave that and that and save changes. And the last thing we're doing here, permalinks, what we need to do here is change this. Because if not, your post URLs are going to show up like this with the date and then the name of the post. So we're going to go post name. That's a lot better. And go ahead and save changes again. All right, we're going to deal with privacy later. So that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.